Hi there, it's time again for Tips and Tricks with Lynn Allen, and I'm going to talk a little bit more about layers, because the layer command is actually the third most frequently used command inside of AutoCAD, so it's really important to make sure that you get the most out of the layer dialog box. So I'm just going to jump into the layer dialog box, and just a couple things that you may not know that you can now do with AutoCAD 2008. First of all, you'll see that there's quite a few columns inside of AutoCAD 2008, including the new VP color, VP line type, line weight, anyway, there's a lot of columns. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to make sure that you have your columns set up for maximum productivity. So a really nice feature inside of AutoCAD 2008 is the ability to turn on and off the columns that you're, that you're, that you're using or not using. You can do it manually here. I actually prefer to hit customize because that allows me to knock a whole bunch of these off at one time. And here you can just turn off the ones that you're not using. Of course you can't turn off name because, well, that would be bad, wouldn't it? It'd be hard to use the layer dialog box. I do like to turn off status because you probably aren't using that, that column anyway. That's just a little tip for you there. The status column only works if you happen to have this indicate layers in use selected and you only want to have that selected and turned on if you get paid by the hour because this will really, really slow you down. This specific particular column came out in AutoCAD 2006, I believe it was. And the goal behind it was to let you know if a layer was being used or not. And then, of course, if the layer wasn't being used, well, then you could go ahead and you could delete it, right? You could purge it. Great idea. The only problem was is that every time you went into the layer dialog box, poor AutoCAD had to check your entire drawing to figure out which layers were being used and which ones weren't. And guess what? That slowed you down. So if it turns out that you want to actually use this column because you want to delete some layers, no problem. You're going to select the indicate layers in use. You'll take a look at the layers you can delete, delete them, and then promise me you'll come right back and check that back off again, right? Because that is really, really, really going to slow you down, okay? Anyway, that's a long story there, although I do find some people accidentally turn that on not knowing it. Um, that's a long story just to tell you that you probably don't need to ha the have the status column on. So I'm just going to turn off some that I don't, I don't use too often. Maybe, uh, maybe I'll turn the plot one and description, and, and it's up to you. You just pick the ones that you don't use very frequently. But, you know, just go ahead and go through here, and that's going to definitely save you some time because you're not going to have to scroll. We don't like the scrolling, right? The scrolling slows you down. And don't worry, if you make a mistake, it's really easy just to do a right click and say restore all columns to defaults, which I've had to do many times because I've kind of messed them up myself. In addition to that, you're probably going to want to make sure that you have your columns in the proper order. The things on the left should be the ones that you use all the time. The things on the right should be the ones you don't use so much. So definitely feel free to move your columns around any way that you want to. That makes it easier for you to work. Definitely customize AutoCAD the way that works the best for you. And I have one other little tip for you. It's kind of a random tip. Every once in a while, you might notice that your layers in the layer dialog box are no longer alphabetized, which can really upset you, right? That is because of a system variable called max sort. Now, that value is set to 1,000 now. That means that's the maximum number of named objects that AutoCAD will sort. So if you're, if you're creating more than 1,000 layers, boy, then you and I really, really need to talk. But in the old days, not just a couple of releases ago, the default was 256. And I suppose it would be possible if you had a lot of XREFs that you could get over 256 layers. And then you go in the layer dialog box, and then all of a sudden, nothing is alphabetized. So the tip for you is just bump that number up to something much higher, and everything will go back the way it is, and we'll all live happily ever after. So that's just a couple of tips about layers. Um, there's, of course, plenty more where those came from. But until next week, I hope you have a great work week. Take care.